They want us to simplify the following to a single trigonometric function. Now, the um, answer is supposed to be negative tan 2x. Okay, so let's see how we can do this one. <clears throat> right, so what I'm going to quickly do is I'm just going to show you this part over here. Okay, now that part over there, we know that the sin of 180 plus x from our cast diagram, we should all know by now that that is equal to negative sin x. Okay. Um, I'm just doing it piece by piece so you can clearly see what I'm doing here. This part over here, that is a co-function. Remember, there are four co-functions that we need to know from grade 11. You know, the ones that are like sin 90 plus x, cos 90 plus x, um, cos 90 minus x. Oh, why am I writing so ugly? <clears throat> and the sin of 90 minus x. So those are the four co-functions that we know from grade 11. This one's equal to cos x. This one's equal to negative sin x. This one's equal to sin x. And this one is equal to cos x. Okay. And so we know that the sin of 90 plus x is going to be equal to uh, cos x. Okay. That's this one over here. The next one I would then look at. Okay. So we can't really do anything with that. I mean, that's just awkward. That's like, what are we going to do with that? Anyways, let's go. Now we go for everything. in. so we said that this became um, negative sin x. This became cos x. And then at the bottom, let's just leave it as it is for now. What I would then do is I would, I would multiply all of this together. And so that would become negative 2 sin x cos x. Now, at the bottom, guys, what we should actually identify there is difference of squares. You know, difference between two squares. I'll give you some examples. Um, remember, like in grade 9, back in the day, when we used to do things like x squared minus y squared, and then that became x plus y and x minus y. Remember that? Or sometimes we had x to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 4. Well, that would become x to the power of 2 minus y to the power of 2, and then x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2. And that is exactly what we have over here. See that? That's a difference of squares. And so I'm going to factorize that quickly into two brackets. And so that's going to be cos squared. I'm not going to have enough space. So that's going to be cos squared x minus sin squared x. And then cos squared x plus sin squared x. Okay. Now, from grade 11, we should know by now that when we have cos squared x plus sin squared x, what is that equal to? Well, that's just equal to 1. Remember that? Cos squared x plus sin squared x is equal to 1. And so going into the next step, I can say minus 2 sin x cos x over cos squared x minus sin squared x. And then I can say um, this whole part here is just going to be equal to one. So I'm just going to leave that out completely. Now, if you, look, um, if you look carefully on your formula sheet, you would know that this part over here, that is actually on your formula sheet, right? That is a double angle for cos. You know, cos has... Um, it's got cos 2x, and then it's got three different options. If you look carefully, this is one of those options. Okay. And so if you had your formula sheet, you'll know what I'm talking about. And so I'm going to change. So I'm going to leave the top as minus 2 sin x cos x. And then the bottom, I'm going to change that to cos 2x. 
The next thing I would want you guys to have a look at is this part over here. If you look on your formula sheet, that is the double angle for sin. And so if you see on your formula sheet, you'll realize that that can turn into sin 2x. And now lastly, if you look at this part over here, we know that that is sin 2x divided by cos 2x. So what would that become? Tan 2x. Because sin divided by cos is tan, as long as the two angles are exactly the same. And so that's going to be negative tan of 2x.